Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe below. All of the ad revenue that we get from our videos goes to New Zealand charities. All right, today we are going to talk about whether you should put the next dollar that you save towards a deposit for your first home or paying down your credit card. And actually, it's not just credit cards, but higher purchases as well. So you're saving towards your first home. You want to know whether you should be reducing your debt, which is probably at 15 to 20%, or saving towards a deposit. And it's a question we get quite a bit from our first home buyers. The answer is a little complicated, but involves essentially figuring out what is stopping you from borrowing more on your mortgage. So if you want to borrow 400,000, but you can only borrow, according to the calculators, 300,000, what is stopping you from getting that? Is it your deposit? Is it the amount of deposit that you've got? Or is it your income? And the answer to that question will dictate whether you should pay down your debt or save more deposit. Now, now obviously, if you don't have enough deposit for a $400,000 mortgage, then the answer is you should save more for your deposit. But if it's your income that's stopping you, if you don't have enough usable income at the end of the month to pay for a $400,000 mortgage, then the thing to do is to remove some of your secondary debt. Because if you watch more of our videos, you'll know that the banks have to take the maximum limit of your credit card as assumed for what you owe. In other words, if you have a $10,000 credit card limit, the bank has to assume you're going to max that out at some point and have to pay those minimum payments, which is 3%. So a $10,000 credit card limit will require a payment of $300 per month. And that comes off the income that the bank says is available for you to use to pay a mortgage. And in fact, the little tip that we have is that a $10,000 credit card limit will stop you from borrowing about $46,000 more on your mortgage. So if you had, say, a $20,000 credit card limit, you could get almost a mortgage from $300,000 up to $400,000 by cancelling that credit card limit. So let's say you owed $1,000 on your credit card and it had a $10,000 balance. Now you could either just reduce the limit to $1,000 or you could try and pay that limit off and that would reduce it right down and cancel the credit card. And that would then allow you to borrow $46,000 more. So really the answer is you need to talk to a mortgage advisor or a bank branch member or whoever and figure out what's the maximum you could plausibly borrow and why can't you borrow any more? What is it that's stopping you? And from there you'll know, should you pay down the credit card or save more for the deposit? Now one thing that people might say is that credit cards should always be paid down because they're high interest. That is correct and, uh, and, a, and a great response. They're at 15, 20% and you should get rid of them as quickly as possible. But if your focus is buying your first home soon, then you may want to focus for just a little bit on getting that deposit and then you can pay off the credit card later. Just remember to always make the minimum payments on your credit card so your credit report stays nice and clean. All right, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. Let us know in the comments your thoughts. I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Cheers.